You see them every time you're in the supermarket. Labels with big claims like natural and very low sodium or sugar free. Well, what do they really mean? And should you pay more for those? Ashley Reynolds cuts through the confusion by reeling, revealing which labels to skip. Which labels help you make healthy choices? Which are just hype? Some food labels are regulated by the FDA, but others aren't, and they may not mean what you think they do. If you want to choose food that's produced without harmful pesticides and fertilizers, look for the USDA organic seal, which has stringent verification rules. Labels that say pesticide free or zero pesticides aren't regulated terms. If you're trying to cut back on salt, look for labels that read low sodium or very low sodium. Low sodium foods have 140 milligrams or less per serving, and very low sodium foods have 35 milligrams or less per serving. No salt added or unsalted are not always sodium free. These terms mean no salt was added during processing, but some foods naturally contain sodium. Now to tame that sweet tooth, you'll want to look for no added sugars or sugar free. No added sugars means just that. For foods like tomato sauce and ketchup, look for no added sugars on labels, not sugar free, because tomatoes naturally contain sugar. It's added sugars that you need to be mindful of. Lightly sweetened, slightly sweet, a tad sweet, and similar terms are not regulated. Now to the bread aisle. Count on these labels, 100% whole grain and 100% whole wheat. Products with a multi-grain or made with whole grains claim can contain refined grains. Consumer Reports experts found fewer than half of the breads in a recent review labeled with these terms were 100% whole grain. Excellent source of or high in fiber guarantees that you'll get at least 20% of the 28 gram daily value or 5.5 grams per serving. Still not sure about the item you want to buy? Flip it over. The ingredients list and nutrition facts panel are better sources of nutritional information than front of package claims. Reduced sugar is also regulated by the FDA. It means that the food has at least 25% less sugar than a comparable product. Whether that's a good thing depends on the starting amount. Steve. Always good to know. Heat and humidity coming